22 January 1968, 15 miles west of Phuket, South Vietnam, F-100 strike military targets in a Viet Cong village. Tactical crews dropped Mark 82 high and low drag bombs and BLU-27 incendiary gel. Total mission results, 25 military structures destroyed or damaged with three secondary fires. 24 January, near the west end of the demilitarized zone, eight F-100 crews of the 6th 12th Tactical Fighter Squadron attack a large concentration of enemy storage bunkers. The ordnance shown in this scene are Type 12 cluster bomb units. Pilots also drop Mark 82 and incendigel bombs. One black and one gray secondary fire were observed with heavy smoke preventing a further damage assessment. Twenty-five January, a 355th wing F-105 pilot strafes and heavily damages an enemy barge anchored near Quang K, North Vietnam. Twenty-nine January, 14th Air Commando Wing A-1Gs attack an enemy fortified hill with BLU-23 incendiary gel. This strike 20 miles west of Quang Tree was flown in support of Operation Scotland. 30 January, two 612th Squadron F-100s fly a close air support mission for Allied ground forces in contact with an enemy element, 35 miles south-southeast of Pleiku. During the attack, pilots dropped high-drag bombs and incendiary gel and strafed with 20-millimeter cannon. An estimated 20 enemy were killed. 31 January, F-100s attack an entrenched North Vietnamese Army Regiment 15 miles south of Da Nang. With high-drag bombs and incendiary gel, pilots destroyed five military structures, silenced one automatic weapons position, and triggered one secondary explosion. Near Cha Noi, 750-pound bombs from an F-105 Crater one of nine North Vietnam roads reported cut by tactical bombing crews on 31 January. 31 January, a 309th Squadron F-100 pilot strafes enemy structures 35 miles south-southeast of Da Nang. On target, 20 millimeter hits, destroyed four structures and heavily damaged six. One February, Two 308th Squadron F-100s attack an enemy concentration 55 miles west-northwest of Da Nang. Pilots dropped high-drag bombs and strafed with 20 millimeter. Strike results, four military structures destroyed, five enemy killed. Two February, two 308th Squadron F-100s hit an enemy concentration 20 miles northeast of Pleiku. On this strike, pilots used cannon and BLU-27B incendiary gel, destroying eight foxholes and one enemy trench line. 4 February, 57 miles west of Cameron Bay, two platoons of U.S. Army and Montagnard forces are pinned down by an enemy force in the northwest sector of the city of Dalat. Answering the call for air support, a forward air controller and four F-100s move in to combat the enemy ambush. Airstrike results, eight structures destroyed, nine enemy killed. In calling for the air support, ground forces reported their casualties as an estimated four dead and 10 to 15 wounded. Five February, 604th Air Commando Squadron A-37s attack an enemy concentration and bunkers on the coast 80 miles southeast of Da Nang. Mission results, six bunkers destroyed, one secondary explosion, 12 enemy killed. Nine miles south-southeast of Da Nang, F-100s attack the enemy with high-drag bombs. Eight structures destroyed, two enemy killed. 7 February, two A-1 pilots of the 14th Air Commando Wing attack an enemy concentration and military support structures near Wang Wa, South Vietnam. The strike crews attack the area with 17 BLU-23 incendigel bombs, eight pods of Type 25 cluster bomb units, and followed with strafing passes. Strike results are reported as all ordnance on target with 100% target coverage, three military structures destroyed, three bunkers destroyed, 12 secondary explosions triggered. 10 February, supporting ground forces active in Operation Scotland, 389th Squadron F-4 crews attack an enemy village in the northwest corner of Quang Tri Province, 
the northernmost province of South Vietnam. This scene shows the release and impact of two of six Mark 82 high drag bombs. The strike crews also released two pods of Type 24 cluster bomb units and launched ten pods of LAU-3 rockets. Strike results are reported as at least 50 enemy killed and 100 structures destroyed. Two secondary explosions. The second and third strike scenes filmed during this attack show clearly the amount of destruction. Eleven February, two 559th Squadron F-4 crews attacked enemy structures 15 miles northwest of Saigon. Crews dropped five general purpose and four incentigel bombs. The mission was flown in support of Operation Fairfax. The results, four structures destroyed, two heavily damaged. 13 February, 60 miles west of Tui Wa Air Base, F-4 crews of the 557th Squadron attack a Viet Cong storage area. Flying the mission in support of Operation MacArthur, pilots dropped six general purpose and four incentigel bombs and strafed with 20 millimeter. Fifteen structures and approximately one ton of rice destroyed. 13 February, an F-100 from Ben Hoa Air Base releases Type II cluster bomb units while supporting ground forces engaged with the enemy 40 miles south of Bin Tui. The strike pilot also dropped Mark 82 high drag and BLU-27 incentigel bombs on the enemy force. Mission results, four military structures destroyed, six damaged, two sampans destroyed, and two damaged. 15 February, 20 miles south of Da Nang, a 308 Squadron F-100 pilot releases a 750-pound high-drag bomb during an attack in support of Operation Wheeler Wallawa. The target, a North Vietnamese Army structure complex. Strike results, three structures destroyed. 4 flying weather covered much of North Vietnam during the period included in this report as Air Force tactical crews concentrated on enemy resupply routes, truck parks, and storage areas, airfield, and rail targets. F-4 crews of the 8th Fighter Wing downed three MiGs during the week ending 14 February. A MiG-21 and MiG-17 were downed with air-to-air -air missiles, and another MiG-17 was destroyed with cannon fire. In South Vietnam, tactical crews continued hitting enemy base camps, fortified positions, bunkers, troop concentrations, sampans, and gun emplacements. Among those ground operations supported were Saratoga, Scotland, and Fairfax. 